scholar would tell you we look forward to New York week. Move beyond what is comfortable. I've been to a lot of conferences, but this one is the most substantive. The future is all around you. All freshmen, come on over. Leaders think of innovative ways to capture people's imagination. When are you going to get in the driver's seat of your life? If you're compelling, they need to choose you. I really want to bring home that notion of you getting in touch with what is your identity. It does allow you to go on and lead innovative lives. You're, you're right in the market that we're looking for. It was great going to the Career and Wellness Fair. I got to interact with representatives from different companies. We started singing and dancing to Happy, and it was a, just a great space for us to communicate. And you wrap around. <laughs> uh, we just learned some good tips like keeping eye contact, body language. So what have you done? to make sure that you're always looking at yourself and seeing how can you get better. I think the idea of reinvention is very important. Never put a used piece of silverware back on the table. It's called fast food to fine dining, and it was kind of crazy to figure out how much I did not know. <laughs> you're living at the advent of the explosion of technology. It's really cool to see what like business professionals actually look for. It's never a good thing to depend on a substance to help you feel better. We had two marriage and family therapists and one clinical psychologist, so we can ask them all these questions. And we also learn about ways that we can help to deal with those stresses. It's really important just to make sure that you're not only receiving money and getting an education, but that you're learning life skills. No question is a dumb question if you don't know the answer. I just want to know the current state of phage genomic studies. How do you think that um, the environmental industry and careers in it are changing? How do you make your dreams a reality and cope with the instability of acting? Did any of you do Marktron? If so, does that end in like the law field at all? Like, <laughs> anyway. Ariel Solo. Ariel? Okay. Yes. And eventually one day I want to be editor-in-chief of Essen. How special are you? It's very huge on networking and last year I was actually able to touch bases with a physician that I was able to shadow last summer. Innovator's mindset is one that has a healthy acceptance of failure. He defines success as uh, just like every time you fall down, getting up and failure is falling down and staying down. Do you feel like in the future, uh, we as you know, competent adults are gonna be in a an environment where competition is more important or where like technology and efficient management are more important. So I'm gonna guess this. Your values are gonna be balanced between making profits and making the world better. When there is adversity, that means things are moving. The only time people pay attention is when things are moving. So that's not bad, that's opportunity, that's where innovation takes place. We love you, and at this time, I am pleased to take part in the annual tradition of welcoming the members of the graduating senior class into the Jackie Robinson Foundation's Alumni Association. And I figured out that this was right for me because it's also a family. That's what's more important. It's not just a scholarship here, take it and go. It's a family, it's a support network. We see one another once a year, but when we do, it's like we've never we like it's like we see each other every day so definitely looking forward to our family sessions we don't get a lot of time to talk about our lives and i remember one of the seniors pulling me aside at the end of the family gathering and saying like you're gonna go far like i can see that in you don't worry like i got a lot of confidence in you you're going to go far it empowers me and gives me that that confidence to know that i you know i can go far in life i can succeed everyone in this room and realize that there is a universe of collaboration and potential for innovation in each and every seat. 
We learn living history. We learn history drawn in faces. We just ask students at local elementary, middle, and high schools to donate supplies. So it's a very simple process, and I think innovation is just taking a simple idea and actually implementing it. <laughs> Where I'm from, kids aren't supposed to make it out, so I'm glad I'm one of them that did, and I'm glad to be here, giving back to the community, and it definitely feels good. The hands-on care of this program had a life-changing impact on me, and it is the reason that I and many of my fellow JRF alums continue to be very involved in the Jackie Robinson Foundation today. Here I am about to just leap out into the world, um, and I feel confident about the sort of four years of training I've had through JRF. I know that I'm here because other people have valued service. Reach for the sky, reach for the stars, and if you miss, you still land in the cloud. And I just want to say thank, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, for believing in me and my qualities, and I will never let you down. Know.